This trail has been called difficult, treacherous, or dangerous. So today, get ready for the adventure of a lifetime as we take on the Honeymoon Trail in Utah in our stock Toyota Tacoma long bed. This scenic and challenging trail is perfect for off-roading enthusiasts looking to test their skills and explore some of the most beautiful country in the world. The Honeymoon Trail is located in the heart of Southern Utah's Red Rock Country, and it's easy to see why this is a must-do for anyone off-roading in the area. But this wasn't always a famous off-road trail. It was actually named for the famous Honeymoon Trail Wagon Road that was built in the late 1800s. So where are we at? Um, somewhere in Las Vegas. Honeymoon Trail. Oh no, Honeymoon Trail, Utah. And is it historic? I don't know, I didn't read the sign. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is historic. Oh, okay, I'm guessing it's historic. The historic Honeymoon Trail. So we're gonna start up it. This is the start of the trail. We just finished the connector trail, which is super easy. I'm in for a low, so we're ready to go. So here we go. The Honeymoon Trail, also known as the Old Arizona Road, was a series of wagon routes taken by the early Latter-day Saint pioneers, also known as Mormons from Arizona to Southern Utah settlement of St. George to get married in the Mormon temple. This trail was used from 1872 when construction on the temple had officially started to the early 1900s. On one of the signs, it tells about a story of someone on the trail, Joseph Fish. Joseph Fish was traveling along the Honeymoon Trail north of Flagstaff, Arizona in July 1879 and he wrote, we found but little grass and no water to speak of. Occasionally there was a little in the holes along the bed of the river, but it was so salty that it could not be used. We dug near the mouth of some large washes that came in where we found some water that was a little bit better. On the 30th, we found enough at Grand Falls to fill a 10 gallon keg. At Black Falls, we found a little bit, but it was not fit to use as fish had died in it and it smelled very bad. Yikes, sounds like they had some major issues traveling on this trail, right? Along the way, there were several stops where weary but excited travelers could spend the night, refresh their teams, and prepare for the next leg of their trip. It is known that hundreds of people used the Honeymoon Trail, and many of them would make camp in locations such as the one where most of these signs are placed on this trail. Of course, most people don't walk on this trail anymore. There are modern vehicles for that to get you to and from. So this trail now is mainly used for recreational purposes such as off-roading, but this historical signs that are on this trail are in remembrance and dedication to those early pioneers who once traveled these trails. Go a little more passenger. A little more passenger. There you go, now straighten it. Now, most of you know about this trail because of a certain YouTube channel that may or may have called it dangerous, treacherous, and difficult. But is this really as dangerous and treacherous as it appears on TV? Well, we're about to find out. Can a stock Toyota Tacoma TRD long bed conquer the honeymoon trail, or is it just as treacherous as Matt's off-road recovery has said online? but I bumped my skid plate back there, so. <laughs> so, our first impression so far is as long as with you have careful tire placement, you could probably take a Subaru. But will that hold true for the rest of the trail? Let's find out. So, Ever, what do you think? I like it. You like this? So, could you imagine having to walk this trail? 
Is it, wouldn't that be so far to go to St. George? Yeah. How, that would take a long time, right? Right. They must have really wanted to get married. Yeah, it's a long way to walk. Incline of this much. And then we're there. And then we're here. Lola, let me zoom you in. I guess I can't zoom you in. It's slow. Ta-da. There's the valley. Rock dirt mode. <laughs> This is the hard spot that that always shows. Hard spot. It's not hard. It's easier than that spot around the corner. Oh, I see where it's all tilted. I think so, I gotta look at Gaia. Oh, you're gorgeous. Okay, good. Dirt. Good. I did. Got into my eyes. Instead of the smoke eating in my eyes, it was the dirt. <laughs> there was a rock. I was avoiding you. You're good now. Semi. You're okay. Rock and dirt mode. Okay, rock and dirt mode.
After you complete the hard part of Honeymoon Trail, you'll be left with this amazing view. And trust me, the views on this trail just keep on coming. Just keep looking for them as you go. Now, let's get back to our original question. Would we consider this trail as dangerous or treacherous as it seems online? I think honestly that question depends on your vehicle. From previous videos that we've seen on this trail, it seems that the shorter the wheelbase, the more a vehicle will struggle with this trail. Honestly, our long bed seemed to be sure-footed and we didn't seem to have very many problems accomplishing the hard part. So if you are an experienced off-road driver who is comfortable with reading complicated lines in off-camera situations, I would consider this an easy trail. As far as some of the ones we've been on in the past in Moab and down here in Hurricane, honestly, this was probably one of our easier trails. Now, if you're new and inexperienced, I would say that this is a trail that might be a little bit more on the upper level for you if you haven't been accustomed to taking those kind of cliffs. After you get past that one hard section on this trail, it obviously becomes super easy and is mildly flat unless you want to drive to the top of some of the hills. So on this obstacle, there is an easy side and a bypass side, so we're going to show you the hard side. If you ever have the opportunity to drive this trail for yourself or you're in the area just wanting to see something a little different away from the crowds, we highly recommend doing this trail. Now if you're looking for other trails in this area, we have this playlist available for your enjoyment and also YouTube thinks you might like this video. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends for more future adventures and we'll see you later out on the trail.